Today, I am passing over to Ariana Bradford, who's going to be diving into ADHD productivity applications, exploring some that she recommends as a coach of ADHD and somebody that has HHD herself. I'm really excited because she runs a YouTube channel called ADHD Done and top covers the topic in much higher level of detail over there. Do make sure to check out all her stuff linked in the description below. But a big thank you to Ariana and I hope you enjoyed today's video, folks, as she talks all about the world of ADHD and productivity software. So over to you, Ariana, and thanks for coming on Keep Productive. What's up, suckers? This is Ariana from ADH Done, and I'm honored to be here with Keep Productive to help you figure out what ADHD apps would be best to keep you productive. So for me personally, I am a huge fan of many, many apps. I kind of have a little bit of a problem and love to test them out, but there are five that definitely stand out for me of all time. These are unranked, by the way. My personal favorites would be Tusk, for its ease of use and the fact that it gives you great achievements and little gamified rewards, even for not being able to do what you wanted to do that day. Centered, or otherwise known as the Centered app, for making it possible for us to body double in a way that is ADHD friendly, introvert friendly, and also gamified, which is amazing. Artful agenda, because Lord knows we ADHDers love to be able to work out of journals and planners, but we tend to really struggle with that because there is no connection between our planners and our calendars. Artful Agenda fixes that by having a two-way sync to our Google Calendar, and it gives us the fun of being able to customize, add stickers, and control our fonts and colors. Time Finder. Though still in its infancy, Time Finder is incredible. It gives us the ability to actually see how much time we have in a day and make it so that we are a little less likely to overcommit and overschedule. And finally, Paste. Paste is free. For all I know, I don't know how long it's going to be like that, but for right now, it is free. It is only available for those who use Apple products, but I love Paste so much because a lot of us with ADHD do not tend to think about our energy when we plan. Paste kind of forces you to think about those things when you are planning out your day just by giving you gentle reminders about when it is best to do creative tasks versus physical tasks versus resting up. Even. I know that a lot of us out there really tend to swear by the idea of writing with pencils and pens and, and using paper. And there is science to that. There is an explanation to that. ADHD brains do love that. And it does have its place, especially when we're studying or doing things where we really need to be able to retain a lot of information. But in a lot of situations, especially when we're scheduling, Writing just doesn't help us. It's not something that's actually going to help us out in the long run, mainly because simply writing things down doesn't translate very well to when we're on the go, when we're working, or when we are deep in a state of, let's face it, hyper-focus. So that is why I swear by using apps to help manage my day with an ADHD brain. And I do that because amongst all the wonderful things that they do already, for me personally, they tend to help me think more intentionally about how I schedule my days. And not just in terms of time, but also in terms of energy. Sometimes we start out the day thinking that because we feel a certain way or because we know we want to get these things done, that we're gonna be able to get 9,000 things done a day, right? Well, these apps stop that from happening. They help to stop that from happening. They also generally connect and integrate to one another to make sure that all of my productivity methods are feeding into one another in some way and giving each other the information that I may need. That way, if I am in Google Calendar, but I entered something into Tusk, I'm still going to be able to see what it is that I'm doing or that I should be doing or what I should be planning around. It's very important. Apps also tend to help me think more rationally about what I should actually be expecting of myself. And we don't tend to do that very much. ADHDers generally tend to feel like if we are not productive 100% of the day, then we are not doing enough when the fact is nobody gets 100% done every day. And these kinds of things generally tend to help ADHD brains see that there's only so many hours in the day. And so it's not fair to expect that all of those hours are filled with 
just making things or doing things or getting things done. So if you are looking for the perfect ADHD apps for you, and none of the ones that I've mentioned have scratched that itch, here's what I suggest you look into to decide what works best for you. Firstly, if you can, I have to make sure that I mention this, guys, don't pay for anything until you're sure it's gonna work for you. Sometimes we get super excited about new routines and we just decide that we're going to jump in feet first we have a problem with impulsive spending. Try to keep that at a minimum by using the free trial that most of them offer to at least see how it works. Piggybacking off of that, how it works with your personal abilities is going to be very important. Know yourself and use that to your advantage. Don't work against your brain, work with it. So if you know that you're the kind of person who needs color coding and the app that you're looking at does not offer color coding, don't download the app because you think it should work. Find something that will. And finally, when you're looking for your perfect ADHD productivity app, please keep in mind, it does not exist, okay? There is nothing that is going to take care of literally everything for you at once. So if you feel that you have to mix and match, that's cool. Go ahead and get a couple to work together, integrate them with one central point. I tend to suggest Google Calendar and go ahead and use it that way. Now. One thing that I wanna caution you on, don't go overboard because then you're going to overwhelm yourself. When you are making your own productivity ecosystem, productivity ring, whatever you wanna call it, to work with your ADHD, please try to keep in mind that we are very, very prone to overwhelm and that there's a high chance that if you add way too much, you're gonna wind up losing track of important information. So when you are building that ecosystem, that productivity ring, and you want it to work best with your brain, no more than three apps at a time, guys, okay? And there you have it. I really hope it helps out. I hope that you're able to find what works for you. And if you need any help, I'm here.